You need to fucking get over it, okay? You need to grow a pair and actually deal with reality. Hey, what is up, guys? This is Brett here from brettdev.com, and welcome back to the channel. Now, for those of you who follow me, you will know that I work online, I advocate other people working online, and I try to give as much advice as possible to help you guys earn an income online, either as an expat or as a digital nomad. Now, the reason I do that, obviously, is because I live out here in Thailand. A lot of you guys wanna live out in Thailand or you wanna go live abroad somewhere else. And it's difficult to do so unless you can kind of finance it, and especially in Thailand, because it's difficult to get a job. Now, while I advocate that most people work online if you wanna live in Thailand, there are certain scenarios and there are certain conversations that I have with people where I would actually advocate the opposite. I would advise that you don't work online you don't start an online business, and it may be better off for you to do something different. So today in this video, that is exactly what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about the types of people that should not start an online business, the types of people that should not work online, and maybe you will uh, <laughs> you, you will fit into this one of these categories. Now, if you are new here and you do wanna know my backstory, if you wanna know how I came to Thailand, what I, did to work online when I first got here, what I currently do now, and all of that good stuff, then I have a complete video series over on my website. All you have to do is go to brettdev.com forward slash workshop, and you can kind of watch that whole four-part video series and kind of get an insight into my backstory and exactly what it is that I do. Okay, so let's kick things off. The first group of people who I would recommend do not work online or do not start an online business are the people who are doing it kind of as a means to an end. They're doing it just for the money, basically. The reason I say this, this is particularly important, more so if you are trying to work online so that you can live in a foreign country and so that you can become a digital nomad. It's less important, you know, if you're just trying to start a side hustle, if you're trying to make some money on the side of your regular job. Um, but if you're gonna be working abroad, this is really important because pretty much, if you are doing something just for the money, you're gonna have a tendency to go out there and try and make a quick buck. Now, I see this all of the time. I see people starting online businesses or telling me they're getting into this, they're getting into that, simply because they want money. They say, I just want the money. I'm just doing it to get some cash. The problem with that is people tend to fall into shitty business models. They waste their time and they work on things that aren't stable. This is why, if you go back several years, about five, six years ago, Chiang Mai, where I live in Thailand, it's kind of a digital nomad hub, this place was absolutely packed to the rim of dropshippers, people doing Amazon. Um, it's Over the years, different business models have come and gone, and you see just swarfs of people, is that the word, swarfs, of people coming to the city starting their digital nomad careers and then you don't see anybody doing drop shipping anymore you don't see anybody doing amazon fba anymore and this is because ultimately the business models that people are getting into they don't have a solid foundation they kind of like you know if i can find a product to make it profitable today i can pull in a bit of cash but then what if that product becomes unprofitable and then you can't find another product you know then you have no money you have no business right so if you're in it just to make money you tend to fall into this trap and it can be really painful because imagine if you did that, imagine if you come out to Thailand or imagine if you sell everything you own, you move to a foreign country and you're just doing something to just make a bit of money quickly and all of a sudden that money goes away and you've invested all of your time, you've invested all of your energy into this thing that can kind of just be plucked out from under you. Um, so, you know, if, if you, if you think only about the money, you're, you're going to have a tendency and you're going to be vulnerable to kind of falling into these kinds of traps, really. The reason a lot of people fall into these traps is because, you know, they've not really done any research. Um, they're not exactly clear on what they want to do. So they're almost kind of just clutching at straws, okay? That's not a good thing to do that's not a good way to set your life up that's not a good way to set your business up you shouldn't just do something just because you don't know what else to do right there was a really good video i watched on um, youtube the other day by you know this is a guy called the tech lead maybe some of you following his huge channel but he was basically saying like 
you know, people are messaging him because he's like a programming channel. People are messaging him saying, hey, I want to be a coder, I want to be a programmer, etc., etc." And what he kind of said was, you know, would you go and join the Philharmonic Orchestra if I told you they made a lot of money? Would you go and become a carpenter if I told you they made a lot of money? The reason people get into certain types of businesses or certain types of careers is because, you know, if you're going to be successful with it, you need to experiment with it. You need to find out that you enjoy it. You need to have a passion for it. And what you do is you say, right, well, maybe I can make some money from this. And you start to kind of do it as a career. You don't just choose it because it makes money. If you're just trying to make a quick buck, then you, there's a very, 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 very high chance that you're going to fail. You're not going to stick with it. Um, you're not going to think the business through clearly enough. You're not going to see the pitfalls in it. And um, you, you, especially, like I said, if you're doing it because you want to become a digital nomad, because you want to live abroad, you're setting yourself up for even worse failure. You'd be better off not doing it because at least you don't have to go through the hardship of having to go back to your home country, having to go back to get another job after perhaps not working for a year or two, getting used to a lifestyle and then having it pulled out from under you, okay? So don't do things for the money, guys. Um, experiment, research, find an interest, do something that fits your personality, and once you know that you're interested in it, once you've experimented with it, researched it, and you have a passion for it, then start to look to turn it into a career. The second group of people who should not start an online business or should not work online are, excuse me, people who have a good thing going for them already. So by that, I mean, you know, if you want to live out here in Thailand like I do, um, and you have a really good job overseas, or if you can make a lot of money in your home country, like a ton of money, um, why would you start an online business? You know, unless you absolutely hate that job, you're miserable, you're depressed, even still, you know, start an online business slowly, build it up gradually, do it in your spare time. But if you have a really good gig, if you have a really good opportunity in your home country, then you shouldn't throw that away, okay? Like, I've got a friend, a um, very good friend of mine. He's building a software company, and it's a big, huge task that he's got ahead of him. It's not something that could be done quickly. Um, he needs to get investors, raise money, all of this other stuff. Um, and he was out here for a good six months and we had a conversation he said pretty much he didn't want to go back to his home country he works like in the oil fields in canada where he can get great money and he said i'm thinking about starting a freelance business to make money on the side whilst i you know build up my software company and i said man you're crazy because you know starting a online business a freelancing business an agency which is what he was thinking about is a lot of work and you need to get it off the ground. You're not going to be making that much money to start with. All of this stuff, for him, it made, makes so much more sense for him to just go back to his home country, work for three to six months, make enough money to live out here for one to two years, and then go back to working on what he's actually passionate about and what he actually cares about. Now, I know a lot of people that do this out here in Thailand. There are people that work offshore, people that work in the oil industry. Um, they make a ton of money. And... If you can do that, it's crazy to throw that away just because you want to be a digital nomad. Um, and I think, you know, you may be underestimating the struggle that comes with starting an online business. If you fall into that category, if you've got a good thing going for yourself, then there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with earning, you know, making bank in your home country and then living like a king you know, for the other half of the year. Now, of course, not everybody has those opportunities. Some people, you know, need to start their own business, need to start making money somehow. Um, so it doesn't apply to everyone. But if you do fall into that category, then that's the second group of people that I would advise, you know, not starting an online business. If you've got a good thing going, don't throw it away. The third group of people who I would advise not start an online business, um, not work for themselves, are people who have a weak mindset and this includes a lot of people right i could go on this could be a whole video in itself um but you know this is one of the biggest biggest things you know i i spoken about this many times on the channel before when i've said you know the biggest obstacle is yourself and if you have a weak mindset and if you know you have a weak mindset then you need to think about working on yourself before you start 
trying to make money online and doing all that other stuff okay it's making money online is not hard dealing with your own mental blocks is the problem okay now this is exemplified in various different ways so i'll give you some examples um i get a lot of messages from people asking me about online marketing i work with clients digital agency all of that stuff and people will say things to me like hey brett this is really interesting but you know what i'm an introvert okay like i don't like speaking to clients or i'm looking for a business where i can do this this and this but i don't want to do that that and that right people just have this idea in their head that when starting an online business they can just kind of pick and choose there is always going to be something that you're going to have to do no matter what you choose to do you have to have a tough mentality you cannot approach it like that you cannot say well i would love to start an agency but you know i just don't like speaking to people you need to fucking get over it okay you need to grow a pair and actually deal with reality there are so many people out there who have this um problem where they cannot deal with reality they think reality evolves around them oh i'm gonna start an online business but i'm only gonna work four hours a week anything i don't like doing i'll just delegate i'll be a leader you're fucking living in a fantasy world if that's the way that you think if you want to make money online if you want to live in thailand if you want to be a digital nomad you're going to have to do a ton of shit that you don't want to do and you're going to have to get used to it because let me tell you what, nobody gives a fuck how you feel. And if you take that approach, if, you, if your feelings are hurt by speaking to a client, if your feelings are hurt by making a sale and you choose to not go into business because you don't wanna do things that might hurt your feelings, then you just won't have a business. Really, really fucking simple, okay? This is a weak mindset and a weak mentality. It does not matter what you choose to do. There will be an infinite, infinite amount of things that will come along in your business that you will not want to do. And if you do not do them, you will not have a business. You have to suck it up. Okay, so that's the first example of a weak mindset. I'm going on a rant, but it's a good rant. The second example is you're just a lazy bum, right? You know, if you've been talking for years about starting an online business, if you talk with, about online business ideas of all of your friends, if you have a new idea every single week and you have done nothing, if all you do is talk, then you are a lazy fuck and you should not start an online business, okay? Maybe that's a sign. Um, I know lots and lots of people like this. You know, they've got shiny object syndrome. All they do is talk, 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 talk. They've got the best ideas ever. Well, guess what? ideas are absolutely worthless okay everyone's got ideas it doesn't matter you have to take action if you've been talking about this for years and you've taken no action then maybe you're a lazy fuck maybe you need to get your mindset fixed before you start thinking about starting an online business the problem isn't the ideas the problem isn't how to execute on them the problem is you okay you're just lazy execution is the key and no, you can't outsource everything. And yes, it's tough. And yes, sometimes you're not going to want to do it. And you know, you, there's going to be some tasks you like doing, some tasks you don't like doing. Well, guess what? You have to do them all when you're getting started because you've probably got no money, right? And you're just trying to make. And one, even if you have money, I've seen this a lot as well. People just throw money at stuff and they don't have any understanding of what they're building, and then it just fails because they've never done it, right? Um, you have to put in the work basically is what I'm trying to say. A common symptom of these people as well is that they just prioritize frivolous shit over what's important in their lives. So, you know, I, I hear this all the time. People ask me about, um, you know, work-life balance and, and all this sort of stuff. And like, you know, well, I don't work Saturdays and Sundays. This is a big thing that I've, <laughs> I've spoken about this for years. When, I, when you meet people like in the co-working spaces and, and shit like that, and you'll meet somebody that's that's out here they've been here for three months six months they're making no money their their savings are down to basically nothing and they say well i work mondays to fridays and i do my yoga on a wednesday and i play frisbee on a wednesday evening and saturdays and sundays i take off for myself and you know i like to um, go riding in the mountains on my bike and i'm looking at these people i'm thinking you've got no money you're trying to start a business like where the fuck are your priorities at you know and then then they complain 
and they they cry when they have to leave but um i digress okay um so yeah those are that is the third group of people that i would not advise start an online business if you have a weak mentality if you're just weak you can't be weak um that's it for the video i'm going to wrap it up there don't start an online business just for the money don't start an online business for the sake of it when you already have a good thing going for you and don't start an online business if you have a weak mentality. You need to be working on yourself before you work on, before you even think about trying to make money online. You don't have to be smart, you don't have to be a genius. All of the knowledge, as I've said many times in this channel, is out there. Um, there's an infinite number of resources. Anybody can do it, but don't do it if you fit into the, uh, to the above three categories. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you're probably going to really like this one. And as I said at the start, if you want to know my backstory, what I do to make money online, how I've been out in Thailand for seven years, then check out this link here. It's going to be very, very helpful for you. That's all for now, guys. Take care.